Hello and welcome to the Outer Worlds. We are planning our journey and either we're gonna go to Phineas's lab or the Groundbreaker. It could be either. I don't know. This might be a small, small uh, station, Phineas's lab. So let's go there for now. Hopefully it's just gonna be fine. Oh, we were we at Terra too. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Congratulations, ship. All right, let's go. Uh, guys, are you ready? I'm not sure how I select active companions. Ooh, we have Vicar Max that I uh yet to level up. Okay, what items he could use. So he currently has two crappy items. Very crappy. But he can actually use a light machine gun. How about that? And I'm not sure what else. Like, it, it does it really matter? You want to use the light machine gun. Maybe an impact hammer. And that's it. No, no not a assault rifle. You want to use the light machine gun. Because they don't use ammo. That's just ridiculous. And I can adjust his uh, mixed, ranged, aggressive, I think. Uh, current max health is p pathetic. What the fuck? What the hell is up with you, Vicar? Current max health of Parvati is 580. What about me? 1200. This doesn't seem correct. I'm pretty sure that they have... Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is this is a correct max health. But uh, my bonus... That actually seemingly matters a lot. 405 is not applied uh, like this. So without my bonus, she struggles. And actually I'm not sure if even the healthy... Applies here. Should, but I'm not sure if it does. Uh, if you look at uh, very quickly, 460. And here we have. It might apply. Hard to say. At any rate, uh, this is a massive bonus. Determination is critical. It almost doubles the health of Vicar, who has 460 health. Without this, without determination, I don't think companions would be uh, viable. Because they would just die. Uh, what is the... Close ranged aggressive. I think we gotta go with close ranged aggressive here too. No. Close ranged aggressive. And we have... Extra health. Oh, same thing. Uh, not not exactly the same. Uh, we have a different skill choice. Yeah, but very similar. Range damage, armor rating, melee damage. Dialogue, combat, effect duration. Uh, whatever. What we should do is just give him health. Because he needs to not die. I do like the... Oh, actually, we should uh, consider uh, the bonuses he gives me. Intimidate, hack, and science. I don't plan on using intimidate, so most likely he will not be my party member. I don't know. Uh, actually, that really shouldn't be a reason why I don't uh, make him my party member. It seems like I will have a party of three. Uh, I'm just basing it on... Uh, well, I did uh, saw some early uh, gameplays of the game. I, I Well... But uh, when it was like uh, shown, but also I'm basing it on the hotkeys. Uh, we have two hotkeys for the companions, so I guess we have two companions. Hack and science, I guess, I guess those could be useful. If we take him, I think uh, a base health could be useful. Although it's not super useful because we can choose to have uh, like that's 30%, so it's gonna be like. Like 130 extra HP. And uh, 
I'm not sure if that we need. But hack, do we need hack? I think my hacking is acceptable. It's not, uh, well, it's not spectacular, but it's my best stat. So I don't need uh, help with that. So that should be fine. But of course, uh, most important part is that he has a, a weapon that's a decent. Actually, uh, dialogue skills plus five. This is uh, this has some weight and a heavy armor. So it wasn't wasted. We have heavy armor for everybody. And most likely he will be coming with me. Right. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. All right. Okay, so apparently I can have six companions, maybe, and I can choose to take up to two, maybe. That's. I don't know why it's so dark, but let's go. Maybe one of my settings is a little weird. Don't know. Or maybe I should just update the driver. Could be either of those things. The game is running fine enough. Oh my god, the close is so close. It's like, hey, where are you, Vicar? Oh, you're here. Um, <clears throat> great. Um, so he has some fancy shot that we will... Maybe, hopefully, uh, hello? we'll get to you Can you here. hear me? Does this work? Hey, Phineas. Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. Uh, maybe, oh my god. Oh, at least I can go through the companions. <laughs> Else that would be the first mod people make. Is that, it's like, please go! No, but you can go through the companions, so that's smart. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. It's not one of those games where I feel like I need to mod it. Mind something's the pissing me off. I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, not I've close. never had a visitor. Hey, Phineas. Hope this is not a murder room. Oh, they pick up the shrink ray? Uh, science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapons damage and and the strength of their effects both increase as your science skill increases. Ooh. Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. So I have this shrink ray. That's worth a lot. Has low DPS. It weakens the enemy. Okay. Maybe we'll try it. Find the target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Why are you hiding in there? Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, cysty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. I'm not sure why we are best bros. I mean... You did save my life, but... I guess gratitude... Uh, uh, should be enough. Any chance you could repair that monitoring device? The one I gave you before your pod landed? Ruined beyond repair. Impossible to find replacement parts. That's Halcyon manufacturing for you. Don't worry about it. I'm reasonably certain you're not going to spontaneously expire. No need to monitor your recovery. I see. 
you shot me in space, you lunatic. I'm I'm lucky you survived at all. Ah, uh, it worked. That reminds me, I appreciate you pulling me out of the hope. Yeah. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. I want to talk to you about something else. Of course. What's on your mind? Not sure yet. Uh, there's something, uh, some reason you're hiding behind the bulletproof glass. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Never know what being frozen did to your brain. There's always a chance you might turn violent. I've no desire to end up like Thompson. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Right. Uh, got a moment to talk? Absolutely. Let's talk. Have you met my crew yet? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. <laughs> nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our possible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, <laughs> carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Relax, there would be. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew such as they are. You don't even know them, they're great. You're a talented scientist after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. Okay. You're right, I'm doing pretty well. Yes, indeed, well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. Uh, maybe something else we can talk about? What's on your mind? It seems like there's nothing else to he do here. What the hell? This is just heavy and worth nothing. But I guess we're not stealing that. Cannon beats. Uh, not really worth much. Pocket watch? Oh, uh, I guess I'll take that. What about the computer? Heck. I worked it out. Explain details later. It will be difficult to reproduce. Need your help. All necessity, all necessary materials should be present in Halcyon, but locations elude me. Dump the new associate, uh, Dirt Side Terra 2, near Edgewater. They have a stake in my purpose, but trust in them only about 23.7% at present. They are recovering a ship, should be along any time. Just need to know where to send them. Let me know uh, when you get this. Eager to be done. Okay. Careful, that's my communications terminal. Alright, Phineas, I know we are not bestest friends, but hey, I still like you quite a bit for busting me out. Ah, oh, Adreno could be helpful. But that's it. That's his entire lab. You spent over four decades in space with nothing but the technology of all this little chamber keeping you alive. The rest of your fellow colonists are still trapped in similar chambers, waiting for you to restore them. Reviving you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Your odds of survival were a mere 28%. My chance of betraying him. Um, by chance that <laughs> you could trust me is like 23.7 uh, or something like that. 
Well, um, nice to see you, Phineas. Um, maybe next time, don't hide behind the bulletproof glass when I, uh, <laughs> when I, uh, uh just, um, uh, you know, just, just pop by. And also, very rude to my companions. I've acquired a power. Uh, power pocket watch. Did I, did I acquire? Maybe I read that wrong. Anyway, uh, let's go to the Groundbreaker. Yeah, let's go to the Groundbreaker docking base. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Aye, aye. Got a sec? Oh, I, I do. Let's talk. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? <laughs> she can't be that good. This place is dumb. How could you say that? We were not... We would not even step one foot in the Grand Breaker. Come on. Stop talking nonsense. Alright, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Sure. We could head over to engineering now. Maybe not the first thing we do, but, you know, we're gonna make time for that. Uh, as long as we don't get chased out of uh, the space station, but I guess that's a special case. I thought you said you could keep this boat in good repair. Uh, uh, there's no need to ask that. Like, I, there was, I didn't really expect her to uh, just uh, be the ship engineer. That's just a bonus if she does that. But yeah, that, we can ask that. I abso surely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Even Mr. Thompson would have said it's my only skill. But I'm used to working on cannery lines, AG loaders and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. Mm -hmm. Sure, we could uh, head over to engineering. Are you as asking to leave my crew and join hers? There's no need to ask that. No, we're, we're just gonna go over. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? No, I think we're good. Did you learn your trade from uh, your father? It sounded like it when you talked to Reed. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. I don't see the humor. <laughs> it seemed to have it in for you. You worked beside your father your whole life? I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. Except for my schooling years, I was always beside him. Or tied to him. He used to carry me about in a sling when I was real little. Hmm. When I got older, he set me to sorting tools and parts while he worked. Later, he taught me simple fixes like busted crate latches. Well, she obviously didn't work on a spaceship, but I guess we can ask. Not on the regular. Once in a great long while, a Saltuna boat would break down on the pad. He'd always bring me along for those. Mostly, he did the same as me. Kept Bess, I, I mean, the, the cannery, running. Turned the loaders, plumbing and electricity, some plastering. I never got the hand of that. Reed seemed to have it in for you. I don't think Reed. I don't. I, don't, I wouldn't say that's necessarily uh, to be true, because Reed just wanted to uh, keep the the whole thing running, and kind of worked with the resources uh, he had and and within the culture he had. I I I actually cannot blame Reed that much. He was just uh. He was just uh, one man, frankly. Uh, Reed seemed to have it in for you. I'm not exactly a model employee. Not like you wanted. The kind that stays quiet and gets the right work done in the right order every day. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. 
But you're actually good at this, and you enjoy it. Yeah. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. Hmm. <laughs> I like you more and more, Pavati. <laughs> uh, after school, you move straight back to Edgewater. You didn't like your classes? Oh, there were a whole lot of reading. Not nearly enough doing. Like, before they'd issue you a wrench, they wanted an essay on the design of different wrenches. Then there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. It's very impressive that her character and her personality just makes so much sense and it's so clear. And not just like told very in a very obvious way, but uh, in a very subtle way and, and it's, it's awesome. Like she has uh, no love for uh, schedule and uh, she doesn't yeah like she has no love for schedule like pe people who enjoy that more but people who just like to do their own thing and um, she likes to be busy but be doing her own thing so what did you do in your time off you mentioned watching shows but there must be more to it as soon as i got permission i spent all my time in the machine shop they had all manner of parts but they didn't want me using them so i had to sneak them sometimes I even slept in there. Had a hammock tied up in the rafters. Before I left, I installed a little skylight for myself. So I could see the stars. Build anything fun? When an engine came in, I'd strip it down and rebuild it. I mostly built for myself. Custom tools. Little mechanical critters to talk to. When my roommates tried to talk, I'd get so nervous I'd be drenched in sweat. It was easier for everybody when I stayed off on my own. I doubt any of them remember me now. Well, that's what you think, but maybe you didn't bond with them. After school, you moved straight back to Edgewater? Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big ol' hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Uh, did you get much time with him after you got back from school? About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh gosh, <laughs> look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. Well, it's time to go. What? You want me to leave? Captain, you can't mean it. Uh, uh, no, I, I didn't mean that. No, no, no. A second thought, I still need you. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> that's not what I meant. Thanks, Captain, for letting me stick around. Fuck. I mean... Sorry about that. Uh, that's not what I meant to click. <laughs> I mean, I meant we go together. I'm not sending you away ever. God damn it. That was the worst, worst conclusion to that talk. You know, you should just go. She opens up to me and like, you know, fuck, just fuck off. I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> wow. What's water around here? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what's water. Pep pill. Okay. You, you can't even tell if this is liquid. Like, this is pills. Apple, apple cider. Do I need to buy some water? Oh man, how can I... There's no way to list by... What's water? Like, I don't know. We need to drink some water, but I don't think we have any. 
What if we drink the coffee? Is that good? Trip teas? Coffee is fine. Okay, let's go. Alright, you guys come. Vicar is... Um, <laughs> not really bonding with me. It was just like, he just showed up and like, he was ordered on the ship, said like, I'm taking my cabin. I'm just taking a cabin upstairs and I'm like, I, okay, uh, you do you, Vicar. <laughs> ah, he's here. Uh, break down. Oh yeah, let's break down the revolver. Steal the other shit. Oh, Jane Nelson. Hope me parking here is fine. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard proceed. Captain. Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Why are you saying it now? <laughs> we just left space. Oh, okay. It's nice that we all have heavy armors. Hopefully, we're not gonna get That's into a scrape. This hat was just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. The jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get to with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the Groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Okay. A trooper. Can we talk with them? Just arrived. Head over to Customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Going for a stroll around the docking base? That's right. I noticed you were in the middle of an argument earlier. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me? I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. So what happened? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. So? Uh, and that's when you resolve your differences like an adult? That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. I Look, see. this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Yep. No, don't tell anybody about how I got the ship. That's me, Captain of the Unreliable. We need another name. I need a name that's... That... <laughs> oh, man. I like it. I like the Unreliable because it's funny, but... It's also not a, a, a great uh, way to get people on board. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. I never got your name. I'm light. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, Felix. See you around, boss. Okay. Maybe potential companion but not yet gonna head to Varus for whiskey and darts maybe not in that order local map Okay. <laughs> uh, I checked everything in there, trooper. 
Everything is in order. Uh, no contraband. It would be nice to know when I'm actually can be detected. Oh, ID badge. So we found an ID badge for the photo shroud. Instead of war. What? I thought instead of war like a Stev Stevador was like a unique name, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah, it's not really worth uh, getting caught for that. Or that. Oh. That's quite the impressive list of infractions. Customs and inspection. See what they have. Nothing impressive. Okay. Right this way. It's a little bit of discount. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. Actually, there is one other place we can consider going. If you've got a complaint, file it at security. Do you mind me climbing the ladder? There's nothing here. Oh. Look at that game. Let me guess, they would have tried to rip us off at the entrance. Uh, should I just experience what the entrance is like? Then we come up here. I suppose persuasion is uh, usable at the entrance. They'll try to rip us off somehow. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm gonna go up there anyway. Alright. Identification, please. Uh, oh, I can actually fake my ID as well. I have a Prison Hawthorne ID. Here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. I, I take it back. I'm not halting. That, that, that is my ship. Oh, thank the law. I could use a diversion. Tell me more then. Really sell it to me. Oh, crap. No precision. Autumn died in a crash. I took his idea so I could fly his ship. No, I won the ship in a poker game. Autumn gave me his idea so I could fly it. Please, you can do better than that. Where's the drama? Hawthorne... No, no, no. Hawthorne died in a crash. Not fond of that story. It lacks dazzle. What else have you got? <laughs> I'm just borrowing it. No, that's not good. Hawthorne abducted me and made me work on a ship for free. I'm a prisoner of help. I like where this is headed. What happened to this, uh, vile kidnapper? He's dead. You must feel terrific. Good for you. <laughs> How do we get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it.
Any idea why my ship was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Great, I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Crap. I should have used my fake idea. I'm looking for someone named Gladys. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Where can I get a drink? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Why well, you impounded my bloody ship. I reckon I found a job around here. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. I'm, some, I'm looking for something a little more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Well, how about something long term? If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Wow. How does Halcyon Holdings work anyway? Are you pulling my leg? I'm new around here. You must be one of them long haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the board. The board runs most of the systems, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. So how does the Groundbreaker fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. So there's actually a boardroom somewhere with old uh, company heads in it. Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Glad to help. I didn't think there were many independent operators in the system. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. What do you think about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. 
Thanks. All right. Hmm. So why can't you tell me about Udan for? So we are learning a lot about uh, this uh, station and uh, how, how things work. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. There's tension between the Groundbreaker and the board. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. This is also uh, really good news for the Hope. That means we might be able to uh, make Hope the Hope ship. Uh, sustainable, even, even if we don't land anywhere. It's kind of hard to say. I'm not sure if it would have enough supplies for everybody. So, but it should be enough for some people. Why can't the Groundbreaker and the board just work together? You sure you didn't just step off one of the interstellar freighters? There's no working with the board. They don't share. Not bits, people, or resources. You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks. And we sure as shit ain't about to do that. Sounds complicated. Sounds like, yeah. But from where I sit, it's all coming through loud and clear. They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Thanks. Sure thing. We learned quite a bit. Be seeing you. Do you actually uh, let me in? It, 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 yeah. That does happen, but I kind of wanna do the climby action. But I got my ship impounded like an idiot. Uh, I wanted to go back and uh, not do that. Also, there's a way to use the holographic thingy. I'm not sure how we do that though. We can edit the key bindings. I suspect it has uh, like a hotkey and that's how you use it, but there's no way to see it. Hmm. I don't know how would you do it. Ha! It doesn't show up on the screen that there are no new thingies that I can press unless I somehow I'm not even sure how would I use it. No idea. It doesn't even show up. How would this work? It doesn't seem like a very... Oh, actually, it's, it's very portable. It's probably it, uh, attaches to your wrist. Alright, uh, I guess it's gonna come up if we can use it. It felt like we could use it because we found a chip. Ooh. I might be able to pick this if I increase my lockpicking a tiny bit. How would I do that? Lowers my dexterity. That's probably not how we do that. Come on. Mind attributes. I can drink a tea. 
I guess I'm picking it. Costs five. A grenade launcher? What the hell? Tremor cleaver. Whatever. Melee weapons seem very bad, but I guess my melee skill is super low. And the DPS does go up. Clearly goes up. Uh, when my skills go up as well. This sort of shotgun is is better. What about the grenade launcher? This is insane. If this actually works, like, what the hell? Attack shotgun. How, how would this work? 48? Clearly it's not shooting 48 grenades, right? Oh. <gasps> okay, I don't wanna fall to my death. Guess that's it. Or maybe not. I don't want to die, but I think that jump can be made. Next shift low pressure suit. It's kind of garbage. Standard troop armor. Oh, we might take that. Protective clothing with safety hardness. Uh, dialogue skills. Ah, uh, fine. We might take a uh, skill close and use them when appropriate. Although I suspect uh, that uh, if we play with no uh, saves coming, well, obviously I, I'm 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 open to uh, reloading the game. If we die, like I'm not gonna restart the game from the start. Uh, so we're gonna do that, but I, I'm not gonna like save scum like for example when we were talking to Reed I had an option to intimidate him into standing down and uh, I lost that option when that I ended the conversation But if I was somewhat Well, not really safe scumming, but I, I could have saved before that uh, reload uh, boost my stats and pass that check would have worked Hey guys. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? I could use some work. Any pointers? Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Anything else I can help you with, ma'am? I'm just getting my bearings. What do you do here? This is the security desk, ma'am. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sunita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. All right. What the hell, Parvati? Oh. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. Okay. I'm interested in that uh, MacReed bounty. Where can I find him? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Nice. I'll take it. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. I'm sure you say that to all the hunters. Uh, I couldn't help but notice a bounty on Phineas Vellus. The outlaw scientist fella, right. The board's had it out for him for ages. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear it. Who's Udon Bedford? I got it. Glad to hear it. Anything else? Nah. Uh, 
guess that's it. Can we talk? I'm just gonna. Oh. So I, if I go in, no one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. Then they're Who probably gonna be unhappy with me. No, seriously. I just opened the map. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham. Graham, right. Oh, this is stealing. A dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. <laughs> Who told you that? Asshole. The game wants me to climb. The game doesn't want me to climb now. Nope. No climbing here. I guess we're gonna destroy that. Bard. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers. I can't sleep in their beds. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Mana. That's all they have. Oh, that's... You know, you, know, you keep that. We're, we're too likely to get busted stealing that. ID cartridge. Let's try to steal that. A lot of bits, but <laughs> I got way too many eyes on me. Oh, look at that. Rizzo. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Favorite center. Suck it. Chew it. Rizzo's Rizzo's Spectrum Watcher. Activate the rainbow. I like this. I like this a lot. The Lost Hope. Rest and go. The Groundbreaker is very cool. Ooh, can we rent an upstairs room? This. What do you want to rent a room for? I don't know. I think they, they impounded our ship, but can we still enter it just to sleep in? Remember or not? It's a good question. <clears throat> uh, hey, uh, Milo. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Wow. <gasps> Um, I'm looking for Gladys. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First what? unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. First unit on the left? This is the first unit on the left. How's life uh, on the Groundbreaker? Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. How does Groundbreaker keep the board at bay? Well, well yeah, let's ask that. Our Chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Okay. Do you do business uh, with the promenade merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. Cool. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, 
He paid it in spades. Creepy following the moon mask. All right, let's go. Of course. Ah. Oh. Clicked on the wrong button. I'm not gonna steal your energy drink. Uh, bye now. Okay. Oh, that's actually a pretty good helmet. 24. Uh, is that worth getting, though? It might be worth getting. What is this? Oh, it looks like a super power armor, but it's just garbage. Wait, what? Control armor. Science helmet. Okay. So many vending machines. Please! Can one of them sell something not garbage? Armor is nice. A shock cannon. That's heavy weapon. <gasps> Ooh. Heavy machine gun. That deals a stupid amount of damage. That could be good for companions. Not me, because that's too expensive. Look at that. I would just run out of bullets uh, using this. Like, instantly. Heavy ammo is pretty pricey. Like, five for one ammo. Yeah, I don't know. I just use bullets that I got. But, yeah. Better keep these uh, in mind. Especially this one has two, two good helmets. 14... 24. Those those are some really good helmets. And they are not that expensive. And I have quite a few credits. Maybe we sh I should sell some stuff as well. But I, I prefer to deal with uh, regular uh, merchants. Because my charm is lost on these machines. You guys are just leaving money around what is this place I was under the assumption that this is an inn but you gotta keep in mind that this is a colony ship that's converted into a uh, like I don't know I wouldn't say town but like some some kind of uh, place people live in it's kind of like a town, like, it's not really for, they're not really going anywhere. Oh, place to sneak around in. Looks like uh, a lot of uh, care was given to sneakies. I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening. To them, I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault that Captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault that uh, they replaced me with a full-timer. I'm filthy, bitless, and badless. For as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker's trash. That's how I live. And if no one ag agrees to take me on as crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Can we find his corpse? You said you have no bits. Did you lie? You have 8 bits. Come on. That's that's almost as good. That's one fifth the way there to buy yourself uh, uh, I don't know, a bread. That's how it goes around here. Am I gonna get shocked to death here? With the sneaking about. I wanted to check out the end, but now I'm sneaking about. Holographic disk is activated. Your holographic shroud is activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud energy. When it runs out, personal will see and interrogate you. 
talk your way out of the interrogation to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out of more out the more you're interrogated. I don't wanna get interrogated, I just wanna steal shit. Go here. I'm not sure. Uh, not sure what we are achieving here. Like, I, it seems like I broke into the med bay with some quarantine, like uh, going on, and it's unclear. Maybe, maybe not. That's going. Okay, I would get busted there. You know what? I'll go in when we have some idea what we're doing there. I might go in uh, anyway, but. Why would I break in there for no reason? It makes no sense. It makes no sense, we're not gonna do that. I just wanna check out the sim. But maybe before we do that, I should take a break. So, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.